Yellow. Aha. Aha. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's time for that. All right, thank you very much. Let's review Hubie Halloween, shall we? Hubie Halloween, you may be wondering, Mikey, what is that? I haven't heard of that yet. Is it new? Is it a TV show? Is it a movie? Is it your real name? <laughs> no. It is a real... It is a movie. A brand new movie starring Adam Sandler on Netflix. Yes. So, <clears throat> if you go to watch it, bear in mind it is a Netflix movie, so the budget is not extraordinary. The budget is not out-of-this-world galaxy money. Not at all. But it is Adam Sandler, and he is a very good actor, very good comedian, so I gave it a shot, and I'm a little bit late to it, but um, I went and watched it anyway, and i got to hurry with this, because i got to shave my face. My face is so itchy. I hate first of her. <clears throat> there we go. I can breathe again. I'm too fat for this. <laughs> Hubie Halloween is a uh, horror comedy on Netflix starring a Adam Sandler. Who plays the title, the title role of um, Hubie Dubois? Yes, Hubie Dubois. It's a very weird name. Sir, what is your name? Hubie Dubois. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> very nice. It also stars Kevin James, as you all know, as Paul Blart Mall Cop, Mike from The King of Queens. Um, Frankenstein, the voice of Frankenstein from the Hotel Transylvania films as well. It also features several uh, actors from Disney Channel. Uh, Bradley Stephen Perry, Carl Brar, Peyton List, Ch China Ann McLean. Um, Noah Schnapp from, uh, I think that's his last name, from Stranger Things, which is also a Netflix show. And it takes place in the uh, town of Salem, Massachusetts on Halloween night. And Hubie is um, your Halloween monitor. He uh, is that guy who will go out and make sure that if you have a bowl, the signs to take one piece, that the kids are obeying and taking only one piece. And the whole town does not like him. They, they do not. They do not like or respect Hubie Dun uh, Dubois. Not one little bit. The only person who really cares for him is his elderly mother, who wears some of the uh, hmm, shirts. T-shirts. Thrift store T-shirts. Hmm. Yes. T-shirts. T-shirts. That's all I'll say is T-shirts. And it also features a, 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 I guess you can call it a cameo by Shaquille O'Neal. Shaq himself. <laughs> the Shaq's in the movie. <clears throat> and it also has a very bit of a very sad thing at the end, into the end of the credits, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Um, it's got a lot of comedy, a little, a little bit of horror, because it is a horror comedy. Um, there's uh, an escaped uh, patient from a mental hospital on the loose. There's possibly maybe a monster roaming the streets at night on Halloween. Who knows? It is Salem. Salem's full of weird things. And <clears throat> allergy season. Hubie works at the local deli, and is not respected by his co-worker or the customers. But he does have a very uh, nice neighbor, played by Steve Buscemi. <laughs> you think you would you wouldn't think that they'd have Steve Buscemi in, in this movie, but they do. But they do. They do. Why? I don't know, but they do. All right, we're there. All right, thank you. And <clears throat> the film, not being too well respected by some people, even though they're fans of Adam Sandler's work, but they have to understand it's a Netflix movie. You're not going to get a big budget for a Netflix movie or a show unless it's a big property. And it's an independent film. It was even though it's an Adam Sandler film, even though he worked, even though he did, he made the script, even though he's the producer. Netflix supplies the budget, <laughs> and they're not going to shell out a lot of money 
for an independent uh, horror comedy film. So it's not like a major, a big major motion picture where they've got all kinds of stuff, even though there is some CGI work in the film. And keywords: Swish Army Thermos. Swish Army Thermos. That's all I'll say. That's all I'll say. Um, personally, I'm not that big of a fan of Adam Sandler, but, uh, Hubie Halloween was different. Um, it was actually a good movie. I, I enjoyed it. I don't sleep at night, so I was up late, late last night. I watched it around 3 o'clock last night on my Netflix. I was bored. I just finished watching a couple other horror movies, and I wanted to watch one more before I went to bed. And... I'd heard about Hubie Halloween, hadn't seen it yet, so I figured, ah, why the fuck not well watch Hubie Halloween? I turned it on, and I watched it, and I laughed my uh, extremely fat ass off. An extremely fat ass was laughed completely off. It's over there now. It's air drying right, as we speak. And I had to eat some crow, eat a little humble pie, say, Adam Sandler's very funny. Even though I've only I've I've only been able to enjoy him in Hotel Transylvania, he plays the voice of Count Dracula, and now in Hubie Halloween. Because I'm not that big a fan of Billy Madison, I'm not that big a fan of Waterboy, I'm not that big a fan of the gr of Grown Ups. I'm just never been the big Adam Sandler fan. My girlfriend is. She loves Adam Sandler. She loves him. Loves the man. I think she dreams of him sometimes. <laughs> She's going to kill me. She's going to kill me. She's going to come in here. She's going to take this phone cord. And she's going to kill me with it. She's going to kill me. And then she's going to bring me back. Just so she can beat me to death with my own microphone. She's going to kill me. But it's, it's, worth, it's worth it. It's worth it. But uh, that's the uh, that's basically, basically what I can tell you without spoiling the movie. I do recommend it. I give it an 8 out of 10 personally. Even though some people are giving it a 2 or 3 out of 10. I'm giving it an 8 out of 10 because I like uh, high school poop humor. And that's basically what it is. High school poop and fart humor. But that's what my humor is anyway, so I go with it. <laughs> and now for the sad part of this horror comedy film. And there's a uh, young actor we lost last year, Cameron Boyce, who uh, was a Disney Channel star on a show called Jesse. He also worked with um, Adam Sandler and Grown Ups 2, the sequel. He was a good friend of Adam Sandler, and he wanted Cameron Boyce to be in this movie. They were filming it last year, prior to his death. And he he passed away a couple of days before they started to film the fi make the, the film. And he was going to have Cameron Boyce in a, in a like a, a little role, but he'd still be there. So... <clears throat> Out of respect for his uh, former co-star and his friend, he pays tribute to him at the end of the end credits. He has a in memoriam um, piece at the end of the credits that um, honors his uh, Cameron Boyce's memory. With a special message from Sandler himself, because <clears throat> Cameron Boyce, like I said, passed away last year from he he suffered from, from epilepsy and he passed away from a seizure caused by caused by the epilepsy while he was asleep. He was only 20 years old. So that's the sad part of the film. But a sweet moment uh, for Adam Sandler to honor his fallen friend. And, and again, I say I do recommend the movie. I think it was very good for Adam Sandler. Even though some people try to say, Mikey, it's terrible, it's awful. I'm a critic, I'm a movie reviewer, a professional movie reviewer, because I have a $500 microphone. I know what I'm talking about. Mr. You only have a $75 microphone. Hmm. We, we are not judged by our love of, of movies, by the size or the... Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Alright, we went there. By the size of our microphones. Ow. Or how much we paid for our microphones. We are judged by how we personally feel about a film. And personally, I feel that the film was fantastic, and I personally, I feel that you're an idiot! I don't know who I'm talking to. There's no one over there, just my fat ass still air-drying. So, I want to thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next video. Cheers.